My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Godzilla vs Kong and this review will have spoilers so there's your warning. But this is such an epic idea. Godzilla against King Kong. Like some of us have been waiting our entire lives to see this movie. And it's a real shame that this movie sucks for the vast majority of it. Let's begin talking about the cast. And you've got Brian Tyree Henry, who is a very good actor, giving a very bland performance. You've got Alexander Skarsgård, who is a very good actor, giving a bland performance. You've got Rebecca Hall, who's a very good actress, giving a bland performance. Damien Bashaw is very bland. Kaylee Hoddle, I actually think gives one of the better performances. I thought she did pretty decent. Uh, Julian Dennison, very forgettable in this movie. Uh, you've got Isa Gonzalez, who I really liked in Baby Driver, but she's given nothing to work with here. And they bring back two of the characters from Godzilla 2 in Millie Bobby Brown and Kyle Chandler, and I could not care less. They give very flat performances. So you've got so many talented actors and actresses and you just give them nothing to work with. I don't mind if a movie like this focuses on the human story. Like that makes perfect sense and you can do it right. The, 20, the 2005 King Kong movie does it incredibly well. Godzilla Minus One does a very good job with that as well. But the issue is that this script sucks ass. It really does. It's just as generic as it comes. It felt like a Michael Bay Transformers movie the entire time. And I could not care less about any of these characters. And I could not care less about anything going on. And like, it should be fun. They're going to the center of the planet. But it's just such an empty experience. There's no camp, there's no cheese, it's just very bland and it's a real shame. So like, I do not enjoy the vast majority of this movie. I would say about 75% of it is insufferable. But, then we get to the last act. And the last act, I actually think really delivers. Like, it's called Godzilla vs. Kong, and you actually get that here. And in lots of these Monster Wars movies, I don't think the action is any good at all. But here, it's actually shot really well, and it's entertaining. I like watching Godzilla and King Kong fight in the middle of the ocean and in Hong Kong. Both really great action sequences, and then you add in Mecha Godzilla. I'm just like, man, this is awesome. Like, this is what the entire movie should have been. I also love the usage of neon lights here. It does give the movie a bit more style, a bit more personality. It's visually stunning to look at every now and again, but um, I don't know if I like the last act enough to go through the rest of the movie again. Like, I was get getting ready to give this movie a 2 out of 10. Like, I was just checked out. And they got me at the end, and it left me on a high. But, <sighs> when I woke up today, all I could think about was the shit that bored me. And, and one more thing I want to add is, I really wish they didn't just portray the villains as cartoonishly evil. Like, they have a good point. There's monsters on the planet. We need to come up with a def defense system. Like, he's actually completely right in that assessment. And the movie just refuses to give him any bit of credibility. So, that annoys me. Uh, this movie, and strong. Rest of the movie, pure shit. So I'll give Godzilla vs. Kong a 4 out of 10. Okay, have you seen Godzilla vs. Kong? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, 
comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.